Deputy Secretary Lewis, thank you so much for joining us on the show. How are you? Just fine. My pleasure. And you have a very personal experience with MDOT as a Baltimore native. Tell us about that experience growing up um, in the area. Well, I, I was born in Baltimore City, but grew up in Baltimore County. In my, my early years, my, my parents lived in Turner Station, which is a predominantly African-American community in um, southeast Baltimore County, not that far from the Key Bridge. And um, I remember being four or five years old, Riding, I think at the time it was the number 10 bus. MTA wasn't MTA yet because it was before MDOT got formed in, in 1971. We're talking 1965, 66. And my mother and grandmother would um, go to the bus stop and we'd get on the bus and ride the bus to Highland Town. And um, Highland Town was a big shopping area back then where you had a, a head company. I believe there may have been a Hoshul Cones too, as well as a and Epstein's was a, was a big discount store that sold clothing and, and household goods. Um, and I do remember those early buses. It was really um, smelly in the back. I do remember sitting in the back of the bus and feeling uh, surrounded by exhaust. <laughs> And buses we've come, come so far. Yes, we've come yes. come so far, right? The modern buses that we ride in today are, are, are really nice and uh, more comfortable seating. You can sit wherever you want to, whether there's a vacant seat. Um, compared to the early 60s, and um, really the, the operators are fantastic in all my experiences riding um, MTA service, always helpful and ready to do what they can to make their customers feel welcome on the service.